Hey, 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 Taurus. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading for the full moon in Aquarius. Now, this full moon, Taurus, is going to happen at 1036 Eastern Standard Time, right? What I found interesting is the date, 723-2021, comes to an eight. Eight is all about abundance, right? And reciprocity of energy, balance. Um, Aquarius, the full moon in Aquarius is going to be in your 10th house of career. So the hard work that you put in now may pay off in a couple weeks when we have another full moon in Aquarius. This is also happening at one degree. The second full moon is happening at 29 degrees. All right, so if you have any planets, I would go to cafeastrology.com to see where your personal planets are and if they they fall at least within a couple of degrees of the full moon and where Aquarius lies in your chart. It'll give you a better idea of how it may affect you. It goes by your rising sign. So if you know your rising sign and it's Taurus, then it's going to be in your 10th house. Okay, so let's see what these are this full moon. Okay, what's it going to bring you? I'm going to see what's going to bring you in love and what it's going to bring you in career. So what is it going to bring Taurus? We'll do career first in career. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below Taurus. If you already haven't, comment. Let me know if this video resonates. Let me know what you're doing on the full moon tomorrow night. All right, so what's it going to bring Taurus in career? What's this full moon? Ooh. I'm going to get two for career. Wow. And um, two for love. What about love? What's it bringing for Taurus in love? Hmm. One more for love. What's this full moon bringing for Taurus in love? Wow. Okay, Taurus. You have for career, we're going to clarify too. You have the Emperor and you have the Eight of Wands. So this is going to charge you up, right? You're going to put a lot of passion into whatever projects you have going on. I would highly suggest that you move forward in something that maybe you've been thinking about or something that I, I'm feeling like if you've already started something and haven't finished it, because I know it's come up in your readings uh, recently as of late, especially in the Oracle cards here about finishing things that you've started. Okay, I would have a look-see at that because the emperor gets his shit done, right? He or she is just masculine energy and masculine energy is all about action. So go forward in your projects and let's see what it's going to bring if you take action on this. Tell me about the emperor. What is this going to bring? Oh, and wait till we get to your love. That's interesting. King of Wands. Oh my gosh. I feel like this may be an opportunity with a possible fire sign. Hmm. Possibly to collaborate as far as work is concerned. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. So somebody may take an interest in this, whatever it is you're doing. Who is this King of Wands and what do they want with Taurus? What does this King of Wands want with Taurus? Oh my gosh. Oh, interesting. The Four of Cups. They're going to give you an opportunity, Taurus. Oh, look this opportunity over. What is this opportunity? Is this positive for Taurus? Because the Four of Cups talks about can be missed opportunity. Like maybe an opportunity comes and it's like, well, that's not what I was looking for. I wanted it to look like, you know, this picture. It's not showing up that way. So I don't know if I want to take it. Hmm. This is hidden from you. Interesting that the moon came out. Eight of Swords. You're going to be all up in your head about this. Why? Why? Why is Taurus going to be up in their head about this opportunity for a career? With this King of Wands here. 
why is Taurus going to be all up in your head? It's like, I feel like Taurus, you're going to be overthinking it. That's what I feel. Tell me about this. Tell me about this one. Ooh, because this like literally could change your world. Maybe for this opportunity, you'd have to move, you'd have to travel, you'd begin a whole new cycle, which makes sense because this full moon, the first one is at one degrees. The second one is at 29. So, and I got a lot in the numerology, a lot about beginnings and endings and abundance with the numbers, right? Because we have 723, 2021, which comes to an eight. The time is 1036 Eastern Standard Time that it's at, which is a 10, and that's all about endings and beginnings. It's at one degree, which is also about beginnings, right? The interesting thing about the second full moon Taurus is it's on 822, 2021, which comes to an eight. If you total it up, that's about abundance. It's at 101 p.m., right, which is a two, that's about partnerships, and then you also have 11 as the master number, the psychic number, also twin flame, 29 degrees, another 11, 36 minutes, which is a nine, that's about endings, okay, now the 29 degrees comes to an 11, and of course the 36 is a nine, you add the 11 and nine, and you have 11, so there's a lot of interesting numerological numerological <laughs> um, synchronicities here. Very interesting. At least I found it interesting. So I really would have a look-see at this opportunity. I don't think I'd pass it up, Taurus. I'm not getting that feeling. Should Taurus take this opportunity? Should Taurus take this opportunity and career? Let's see. Should Taurus take this opportunity? Oh my gosh. The Empress. Yes, you should. This is going to bring major expansion. This is telling me that you have the opportunity to balance out your masculine and feminine energies in a way that's going to be very expansive, very beneficial for you, very lucrative. I'm feeling a lot of abundance there. So tell me about the Eight of Wands. If Taurus acts on these projects here or whatever they're wanting to finish up whatever you're thinking about career wise something that you at least this is the intuitive feeling that I'm getting something that either if it's done you need to put you need to put it out there if you if like something's done and you haven't done anything with it you need to put it out there oh my gosh I am feeling so many shifts today it is crazy okay so put it out there if it's not done look at this the king of pentacles is clarifying the eight of wands if you take action the king of pentacles is very grounded very abundant this is going to bring in a lot of abundance a lot of nice masculine energy i do have to say here taurus that's too many all right i'm gonna get one more for career and then we're gonna get to love okay so Give me one more for career. Six of swords and the wheel of fortune. What did I say? This is going to take you from turbulent waters to peace. It's bringing in a lot of luck. Uh, see where Jupiter is in your chart right now. And I feel like this is destiny. This is supposed to happen for you. And some of you could literally be moving. That's awesome. Okay, for love. Taurus you have the princess of cups and you have the magician like WTF that's magic that's magic that's a love offer here uh the princess of cups right so this could be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces this is also I feel you opening up your heart to love and magic happening because of it Oops, Princess of Wands. Ooh, a lot of passion here. So you got your passion stirring. Who is this offer from? Prince of Cups. Okay, what do they want with Taurus? 
What's their intention with Taurus? Let's see what this person's intention is. This is very romantic as well, I'm feeling. With the prince and princess, you're on the same wavelength. Your vibrations are in sync here. Tell me more. Princess of Swords. Oh, they're watching you. They're watching you. They want to know more about you. Tell me more about the Princess of Swords. They want to they want to know more about you. Tell me more about the Princess of Swords. What do they want to like? What's their intent? I'm just going to keep going with the intent. Gives me the best answers anyway to go by to help you guys. Ace of Cups. They want new love. They want new love relationship with you. So I wanted to see if this was serious here. They want to learn a lot about you. They want to communicate. This person is going to communicate. They're very attracted to you. And we're going to clarify this magician. Gemini energy. Four of wands. This is going to lead to commitment. This could be a twin for some of you. Now I say that only because I have key cards that come out, right? That speak twin flame energy, okay? So I like to tell you, but you be the judge of that, okay? Always listen to your own intuition first. Believe yourself. Don't even believe me. If your intuition is not resonating with what I'm reading, then it's not for you. Princess of Pentacles. This is beautiful, Taurus. This is going to be going slow, but this is steady. This is magical. Get ready for some magic. And this is stable. Could even lead to marriage here. Wow. What do you think about this person? Let's see what Taurus thinks. Let's see what Taurus thinks. Let's see what Taurus thinks. What does Taurus think about this person? What does Taurus think? What does Taurus think about this person? I can't believe that. Tell me about this person. What does Taurus think about this person? You know, it's interesting that I'm using this deck. I normally use the other one. But when I was, you know, laying out the cards and I was counting them, I'm like, one is missing. Where is the one? Now, I carried the cards with me today. Could be in the car. But I'm interested to know which card is missing. So I had to pull out this deck. Didn't feel like going to the car. So tell me what Taurus thinks. You're going to speak? Oh, wise one. Okay, so you're trying to make a sound judgment. This is also a twin flame card of mine. Um, you may be surprised, Taurus, at this connection. Just saying, I feel like it's going to come out of nowhere, this connection. You're not, oh my gosh, intemperance, Sagittarius energy. This is being looked over by an angel. This is supposed to come together. This is divinely orchestrated here. Again, go with what you feel, but this is, this is leading to a lot of balance here. I like it. Now, I will caution you, though, with the work here. Make sure that with this love, this, this needs to be your focus. Balance, okay? Don't neglect the work. Don't neglect whatever it is you're working on because I'm telling you right now, if it doesn't happen soon, it's happening. I, I'm feeling by the end of the summer. That's what I'm feeling. The energy, energy of full moons can last up to six months, right? Some say a year. I tend to go more towards the six months, but that's my intuition. Um, it could be different for everybody depending on your chart, right? I'm feeling by the end of the summer, and they're agreeing with me, um, or telling me, yeah, not agreeing with me, <laughs> that they're giving me the vibe, but this is going to happen by the end of the summer. All right. So let's get you some advice. This is very, very high vibrational. I can feel it. I, You know how many shifts I just felt doing this reading? 
is crazy. The last couple days I've been feeling crazy shifts, especially with the trees. All right, so advice, six of cups. Remember that childlike spirit, that love, what it feels like to be in love as a child, as, well, not as a child, but you know that, mm, just that innocent love, okay? So when you're reminiscing on what love means to you, connect with that hard space, connect to when you felt this or what it is that you want to feel. But think about the innocence of love. That's what I'm getting with this. Think about that giddiness, that excitement, that wonder, that childlike wonder with love, okay? I'm really feeling like this is absolutely beautiful and it's going to surprise you, take you by surprise. So advice for Taurus, advice for Taurus. This is beautiful Taurus, advice. Now this will be interesting what the Oracle cards have to say. New start. Sometimes we must realize that what we have done needs to be discarded and we must make a new start. So it could be, and like I said, this has come up for you before. You may need to discard something in order to say, take this career offer. I don't know, quit a job. Um, I, I don't know, but this may be your hesitancy, okay? But Spirit's saying, take that new start, okay? Something needs to be thrown away with, and that's on a collective. I feel that for all of the signs. It's like we're stepping into a new world. We're stepping into a new earth. What is it that you want your reality to be? You really have to manifest that with your heart space. And you have to imagine that creative visualization is going to be key. Change. For a change, do something you usually do a certain way in a different way. So do something you normally wouldn't do. This has one, been one of my messages and I'm doing it. So do it Taurus. All right, Taurus, this is beautiful. I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already have it. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information in my Etsy shop is in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well and hit that notification bell. And also visit my new channel, your um, Nature Speaks 333, where I channel the trees every day for the collective. Such great uh, wisdom from the trees, I cannot even tell you. So go visit there if you like it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment there as well. You have a wonderful full moon, Taurus, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.